The Food Justice Group of Occupy Wall Street, we're honored, excited, and humbled to have you all here. Just to give a little explanation of who we are, the Food Justice Group at Occupy Wall Street was started by a number of food activists, community gardeners, urban farmers who were involved in the Occupy Wall Street movement, who felt that this movement for true democracy, for justice and transformation of our destructive economic system and a political system that favors the greed of corporations over the needs of the people, needed to talk about food, and we needed to elevate that within the discourse of Occupy Wall Street. But now I live in the Bronx, one of the poorest congressional districts in the country, yet I'm only a block, a mile away from the biggest industrial food terminal, Hunts Point. I can look at it, but I can't get it. But yet, the people in my neighborhood are starving. The people in my neighborhood are the statistics that you hear when it comes to hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease. And I felt, along with many of us here in the city, that something had to be done. And so I tell people, my name is Karen Washington, and I'm an urban farmer. I grow food, I feed people body and mind. And we all get that Wall Street is in control of our government. Wall Street is in control of everything. Big money is in control of everything. It's about profit over people. Not only in the United States, we teach the world to live that way. And it is now time for us to fix it. And I am so sorry for what my generation has failed to do. We have failed to enforce antitrust laws which prevent monopoly, the biggest threat to our freedom and our democracy. We have allowed our Congress to become owned by the big money interests of, of Wall Street and others. We've lost our court system. We've lost our government. We've got to take it back again. And I am, I am so encouraged to be here with you today. Thank you. Now is exactly the right time. It's obviously colder and colder to occupy Wall Street. Um, but it's a great time to start thinking about next season's apprenticeship, apprenticeship opportunities. And there are wonderful farms all over this country where you can learn skills. You won't earn a lot of money, um, but you won't go into debt any further than you may already be. The winter is a good time for making a new plan and for gaining the courage to plant a new seed next year, to make a better plan for next year. And know also that the beginning farmer and rancher Opportunity Act is the place where we're going to count on your support. Thank you very much. Some of the most important things we need to grow is our awareness of the opportunities to grow a plethora of wellness in places that right now seem bereft and barren. And part of what permaculture is about is asking the question, where can we grow things that right now we think are not places that we can grow food? For instance, NYU owns over 20,000 acres of rooftop farm potential in the middle of New York City. When we look at the infrastructure of New York City, we see a waste stream that produces a huge amount of asthma problems from trucking materials out of the city that could be turned into awesome soil to grow food on rooftops for people who need more vitality. Now, one of the special things that I want to tell you about here is this lawsuit that we've launched against Monsanto. Among the plaintiffs, we have family farmers, we have independent seed companies, and we have farm organizations. And if you take the memberships of all the 83 plaintiffs, we represent over 300,000 people. And within that 300,000 people, we have many thousands of certified organic farmers who are relying upon you for your support of their product they're relying upon us as seed growers to grow the best possible quality seed. But what we've learned, that if the multinational corporations that control the biotech industry, if they contaminate our farms, there's no way for organic farmers to be able to raise their crops. If it starts out contaminated, the crops they harvest are contaminated. We need to protect organic seed so that you're right to clean food and for, to your right for a choice in the marketplace for something besides force-fed GMO crops. It has to be a reality. We have to make that right known and work for it.
and I wanted you to know that rural America and American farmers stand behind you and that your courage here in establishing uh, the Occupy movement has 100% support in rural America. The farmers of America are behind you. When I look out in this crowd, I don't really see my community. I want to make sure that for this movement to grow, that we see each other's community and understand those day-to-day -day struggles that I go through and that the farmer goes through trying to have a, a career. You know, I think I understand that farmers can barely survive making a living, that they have to work a job outside of the farm to just survive. We want to make sure that the foodies understand what the farm workers go through and that the CIW in Florida, that they're working on a farm and they can't get equal rights. So we want to make sure that the food workers and the foodies understand where they go through. I think it's important that we build solidarity between these issues. Food! 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you.